good everyone this is damres photography and today i'm going to be teaching you color grading please if you've not subscribed if you've not liked if you've not if this is your first time on being on this page on being on this channel please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share uh yeah and what they call today we are going to be talking on color grading color grading yes color grading so for the last image i spoke on uh, what they call it i spoke on frequency separation i spoke on skin retouching so i mainly retouch the skin of the image um during the previous lecture and as you can see before after before after so right now what i'm going to do is i put all those um everything i did into one folder and name that skin so for that um group we have skin retouch so next thing what we're going to do is uh, we are going to color grade and what i used to color grade my images is camera roll i use camera roll for color grading my images and for you to be able to color grade your for you to do that what we'll do now is i'm going to make a stamp layer what we call the stamp layer is merging everything we've done into one layer but the other layers that we match will not be deleted so let me do that we match by pressing ctrl or shift e and we've created the stamp layer if i off the other layers now you will see that nothing there's nothing changed there's nothing nothing was changed in our image we still have those other layers but we've matched everything into one layer while they are not still there uh, while they are not still deleted the reason why we do this is so that we can always come back let's say i made a mistake somewhere i can just delete this layer and then go back to the layer beneath it and then redo my color grading after i've corrected what i want to correct that's the reason why we do we make use of stamp layers so now that i have my stamp layer i will name that color and then i'll go to filter then i'll go to camera roll like i said i use camera roll for my color grading it's easier it's faster and then it gives you what you want you get you can always save the preset the color grading you've done you can always save that color grading you've done and apply it to other sh other images in this same shoot you get if you have other images um other images with the same sets of this if you have other sets of the same image and you want to apply color grading so that everything will be uniform you could always save your color grading after you've done that and then just apply to the other images so for this particular one now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to calibration Go to calibration that's the first thing i do in my camera roll this is just to make the colors pop and then give it the overall feel first of all i'll give it a saturation of seven give it a saturation of seven then i'll my, my, i would play with the hues if i take it here this is not what i want i take it here okay this is and this is better than this for me so i'm going to leave it around here that's for the blues i'll do the same thing with the greens and make sure it's that saturation of seven i don't like to man play with the saturation too much you get so saturation of seven then i play with the use too like this this is not what i want okay around here we're bringing a bit of back the red into the skin so i like this this is okay so for the red for black skins be careful you get for white skins you might want to bring in red into it you get but for black skins be careful because you usually already have red in your skin you see we already have red reds in our skills. Watch what happens if I give this um, saturation of 7 and then I work with the skin. You see that I'm bringing quite a lot of reds into the skin already. So if this is not what you want, I just you just have to be careful with how you put the red. So for me, I'll just leave it around 4 for saturation and then I give it a bit of red too around here. I think that's okay for me. So that's all for calibration before after before after so you might think you've not done something but you've done if you look at it depending on type of images the what the calibration can do can be drastic if you have a cloth on this image now you really see how it made the image pop but for this i think i've done something i've done what i want for the calibration what i have to do next is go to color grading and then i work on the shadows first I bring this one down a bit, not too much. If you bring it too much, you are manipulating the saturation, which we don't want it as much as this. We want it around here, just a bit, you get just around here. And then we'll now move this, uh, what they call it, we'll now move it around to find where you want your colors to be. That is, you want, you have to know the kind of feel you want for your image. If I'm going for this kind of feel, 
then I'm going to leave it around here. If I'm going so depending on the kind of feel you want for your image, around here now you see I'm having a fast sort of cool cool image. You get a really really cool image. Uh, if I take it around here, I'm making them a bit more warmer, but around here is too warm, too warm, you get okay. So I'm thinking around here. Okay, so let's make it around here. Let's see what we'll do, what we can do if we put it around here. Now I'll go to the highlights too, and then play with the highlights too. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I like this for the highlights. And I'll go to the uh, the mid-tone, same thing. So now, you see, uh, with the mid-tones now, I'm able to bring back a bit of coolness back to the colors you get so you can see before after these are just the, what we've done we just color grading i'm just the color grading effect before after before after you see now everything before after before after so that's it so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go to curves i'm going to just manipulate this a bit this is this gives you could decide not to work on this you could decide to work on this this gives your image is also a color grading technique and it gives your image a sort of difference what 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 happens when i give this place three points three points here and then you could play with this anyhow you want what will happen this is not how i want it but what will happen if i do this around here just play with it i see i'm just i'm just trying to play with it this is not what i'm going for but you get what i'm trying to say there are different things you could actually achieve with this you get what i'm trying to say different ways you could achieve different things you could achieve but this is not what i'm going for for my image this is not what i'm going for so i want to just give it three points here three points and i'm just going to bump up this one just a bit so you see that kind of effect i'm giving my overall image i love that inside my images here yeah, around that and i'm going to take this one down a bit and see how it looks so i'll take this one down a bit not too much take this one up a bit so i'm trying to, with this i'm bring i'm exaggerating more of the highlights and the shadows in this image if you can see before after before after you get now i can go to red if that's what you want i don't really manipulate my reds that much but you could also go to it depending on the image you could see what it could give you you get you could see what it could give you so this is another feel you see how with this you are able to manipulate your overall feel of your image you get with it you should be able to over manipulate the overall feel of your image you get so, but for me, I don't want to. I don't want to work with the reds. So you can just play with that at your free time. Work with the reds. Work with the greens. Work with everything you get. So, next thing, I'm going to give this image a bit of detail. So I'll go to detail. I will give it a bit of sharpening. So I just sharpen a bit. I think that's okay. I don't want to sharpen it too much. So I'm just going to work with it around there. Okay, that's okay. Before, after. Okay, that's okay last thing i'm thinking i have a bit of a lot of reds on the skin so i'm going to go to my orange and then bring in the hue i'm just going to bring in the uab this is just to correct the reds that i feel is too much on my skin so just manipulate it just a bit you see before after you see now i brought in back a bit of yellows into that skin so that's all for color grading you can see before after before after next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to um, low you click on these three buttons and then you go to save this is so that you can save your color grading preset and then use it where when next you want to use it you get just go to save me i like saving it in the folder of where that image is so that i can always use it for images for other images in that same um shoot you get what i'm trying to say so I'll go there and then I'll just save it. I just save it there. Name that color. Yes. So I have that saved. Okay. And that's all for color grading. As you can see, before, after, before, after. What you can do next is just to go to brightness and contrast and then manipulate your image the way you want it. That's you could also just click on 
brightness and contrast you click on auto first and see what it gives you if that's what you want yeah if that's not what you want you can just increase it a bit you get you could just work or do it your or manually you get i most times i do this manually because photoshop doesn't get the idea of what i want most times so i this is okay for me this is brightness is okay then i work on the contrast and see where i want it to be i don't want that contrast to be too much you get so i'm thinking around here so before after before after so if you enjoyed this tutorial if you like this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe please don't forget to share and have a wonderful day guys i'll see you in the next class